So, in the ongoing adventures of TJ, which I'm posting on my YouTube channel, yesterday TJ and I had a, a little bit of a, an adventure. Yesterday morning, I took TJ to the vet. Uh, let me rewind just a little bit. On Tuesday evening, TJ was feeling kind of poorly. He started throwing up and having the diarrhea. And uh, I thought, well, maybe he just had something bad to eat. And he's, uh, his stomach is upset. His lower GI is rebelling. Uh, but he had, he had stuff coming out both ends. Um, if you know TJ's condition, he was uh, born with a condition called cerebellar hypoplasia, which makes him uh, not have good control over uh, large muscle movements. Um, he uh, can only walk a couple steps before he loses his balance and falls over. And he also has problems. Uh, he, he doesn't bark. Um, he whines <laughs> with great fidelity. And if you've been around him long enough, you know to recognize I've got a pee whine. I'm going to take a shit whine. Hi, how you doing? Glad to see you back from wherever you've been whine, etc. He can even talk and say hello. Uh, but that's for another video. Um, anyway, so he was feeling bad Tuesday night and, uh, I, you know, stayed up with him and he, uh, after a while, the, the, uh, explosions front and frontal and rear end explosions stopped. Uh, but Tuesday, but Wednesday he still, he wouldn't eat anything and, uh, he felt kind of warm and if you'd pick him up, he'd start whining cause he was just achy. And I also noticed uh, he had this uh, thing on his side, like a, uh, a round kind of a sore or something. And uh, I noticed that late Wednesday. And uh, if you touch it, it was very, very sensitive. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just take him to the vet. So yesterday morning, Thursday, got up bright and early. Uh, my vet, uh, uh, which I will not name, uh, opens at 7 o'clock. And uh, so I we jumped in the car and I thought, well, it's about, it's, you know, it's rabies time of year, time for rabies shot. So I took Chambers along, put the collar and leash on him and took him along and said, we'll just, you know, hit two birds with one stone. So um, got in the car, got, a, got over there right at seven o'clock. They were just opening the vet's office. And I was like, I've got an emergency here. My baby's sick and he's not eating and he's not drinking and. Uh, he just is feeling bad and sore. And she said, well, you know, this is the day off for the veterinarian on a Thursday. He's never in on a Thursday. Okay. I said, well, just give me, give me TJ's and, 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 uh, Chambers records and I'll go see if I can't find some vet that is in today. So I went out in the car and, and was panicking at this point. So I called up my friend Ava Buchanan. I called Tina Turley and I called Lisa Waldrop saying, 911, 911, you know, Dr. Bombay, help. And uh, of course, it was a little after seven, it was like 705, 710. So, of course, they either weren't up or they were about their morning ablutions and not answering the phone. So, I got on my phone and did a look, you know, a little search for vets in Tuscaloosa area and found one that was relatively close to where I was, which also happened to be close to where I work. So I said, well, we'll go over there. So I got over there, they were open, but the vets weren't in yet. So I filled out the paperwork and they said, come back at 8.30 and uh, we'll you know, take care of TJ. So it was about 7.30 then and um, had an hour to kill. So I said, well, I'll just go over to the office. So there I go over to the office TJ in his carrying case and uh, Chambers on his leash busted up in there. There wasn't there wasn't anybody there at 7:30. Uh, a couple of my coworkers that always come in really early were there, so I dropped by the Dunkin' Donuts and got some iced coffee and some and some old fashions, and we went up there and just uh, chatted and whatnot. And uh, my boss came in and said, "Oh, I didn't know it was show and tell day. You brought all your animal friends with you." I said, no, we're just here for a few minutes. I'm going to go back to the vet. So at 8.30, got back in the car and went over to the to the vet and um, went in there. And the lady said, you can just go back. Y'all go back to 
waiting to, you know, uh, examining room B, and the vet, vet will be right with you. Meanwhile, 25 minutes later, no vet has come in to examine room B, and uh, TJ's getting squirmy, and I'm, like, on the edge. I'm about to run out to the front desk and start pounding and saying, Give my TJ his medicine! Uh, when the vet walks in, she's bubbly and cheery and smiling. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I would have been doing better 25 minutes ago. Anyway, <clears throat> so I give her the history of what's been happening with TJ. And she goes, well, all right. And I showed her the spot on his side. And she said, oh, that's just a heat rash. I was like, wait now. T you know, because he'll pick, he'll get these heat rashes because, you know, he doesn't turn... I said, look, I have had this dog for two years, and I have never, this dog has never had a heat rash, never rubbed any hair off or anything like that, because I make sure he turns and changes positions, and yada, 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 and, uh, well, all right, let's just have a look at him, so she's, you know, he was, he was a little, uh, she took his temperature, uh, they jammed a little thermometer up his butt, and she goes, no, it's perfectly fine, temperature's perfectly fine. Uh, and I said, yeah, he doesn't feel warm today like he did yesterday. And he did take a little bit of water this morning. So maybe he's on the mend. She goes, well, we'll just see. So, um, we're going to have to, you know, give you some, uh, topical cream or something to put on these, uh, on the heat, uh, rash and stuff. And I said, I don't think it's a heat rash. I think a bug bit him or a snake or he's got the cancer or something. And she goes, well, I don't know about all that. I don't think so. So they examined him. She goes, now we're going to have to get a, a, um, a fecal sample so we can get this diarrhea under control. And I said, well, he you know, really hadn't had diarrhea since Tuesday night. Okay, and so she takes out this thing, this big wand about this big, and proceeds to lift his tail up and jam that thing up his anus. At which point, TJ looks at me, his eyes are bugging out like this. I opened his mouth. I thought I was going to see the tip of that thing coming out of his mouth. And he was, ooh, he started screaming. She goes, he doesn't really like that much. I said, well, you didn't lube it up or give a warning or count one, two, three, or nothing. I couldn't even get him ready for his first anal penetration. So she took it out and went back and tested. And she goes, well, it's got some blood on it. It doesn't have much fecal matter on it. I said, because there's none left in him. He shit it all out the other night. And he hadn't eaten since then. And the blood's on there because have you ever had anything shoved up your ass? Anyway, pardon my French. Um, but And if any kids are watching this, I'm sorry. Not my bad. But uh, so she goes, well, okay, and I'll give you some pills and we'll get that vomiting under control. And I said, you know, he really hadn't vomited ever since Tuesday night. All right. Well, he looks good. If you put this cream on there that I'm going to give you and give him these pills. And she gave him a shot. She goes, now this is to control the vomiting. And I said, you know, he really hadn't vomited in like two days. Uh-huh. It's going to burn. He's not going to like it. So she gave him the shot. He whined a little bit, but he took that like a man. I mean, after having, you know, been anally uh, uh, invaded, a little shot in the shoulder wasn't going to hurt him none. So I took him, took him, and she goes, just go back up front, and they'll have your meds up there for you. Okay. So I go back up front, waited, waited. 15 minutes later, the meds finally show up. I'm like, what is going, this place has had got two people in it. What is taking 25 minutes for me to get a, to see a vet, and then have to wait 15 minutes for some meds? In my other vet's office, they have that crap laying there on the table before you can get out front. Anyway. So uh, she, the lady figures up the bill. She goes, that'll be $162.50. I was like, excuse me? A hundred and what? I said, wait, let's just review the bill, shall we? She goes, well, you know, it's $40 for the, for the visit. I said, yeah, I understand that. And um, the shot for the vomiting is, uh, is $30. I was like, which he didn't need. And then the the rain the the rectal probe was another thirty dollars. I was like, you know, there's hookers over here on Greensboro do it for a lot less than that. Anyway, so I was like, fine. Although she didn't tell me, or she didn't ask me if I wanted those procedures done, she just went ahead and did them, and then just charged me for them. That is fine. I said, but we do not need these meds. I said he is not vomiting anymore. His diarrhea is not. He's got. He's gonna have a solid poop later today. I just know it. And. uh 
I can go get some, you know, cortisone uh, ointment over at the Walgreens for five dollars. So thank you very much, but no. So she took the meds off of there, and it ended up being a hundred bucks. You know, and TJ was on the mend already. I mean, he was getting chipper in the car on the way home, and so we came back and. Uh, he ate a little bit, didn't eat a whole lot, and drank water, and so he's back on his routine. He's over there just resting right now, but uh, he was fine, and we I um, spent the rest of the day with him and worked from home, and he uh, he was fine. Everything's good. He the little sore on his sides, uh, you know. I put some cream and some ointment on it and stuff like that, so it's not sensitive to the touch anymore, and he uh, it's actually uh, starting to to heal up, drying up, and healing up. So. Um, that was good. It was just like he, you know, if you fell and skinned your knee or something like that and you just had the sort of the raw skin out there. But, um, I still think he got bitten by something because, you know, this is, this is not a common occurrence for him and, you know, or had, you know, it could be the skin cancer still, who knows? Um, and I don't joke. I mean, I'm, I, I apologize for those people that have had uh, the melanoma and stuff. Uh, I'm making light of it, but it's really a serious thing. Uh, but, you know, you get in your mind about your baby and you just, you know, you think all the worst. But anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much what happened on TJ's visit to the vet. Uh, 